the inspiration can be overwhelming sometimes. I don't know if that makes any sense. Sometimes I could be so overwhelmed by a desire to create something that it's like I need to take a break. Like I need it to settle in. I go for a session of wing foiling, I come back home and, it, and, I, and I can think clearer. It, it almost like cleanses me. You know, any bad negative feeling, the wing foiling just breaks it apart. My name is Natalie Placencia and I'm a sculptor. It happens to me every time, whether it's a drawing, whether it's clay, whether it's bronze, it's like I'm faced with a soul and I have to acknowledge the fact that I'm attempting to do this. It really truly is, I feel like, a, a, an interaction between the medium and myself. And it blows my mind every time. Every time I see that moment when the, when the spirit is in that person, it's almost like I've been waiting for you and you've been waiting for me. <laughs> The most basic human desire, I think, is to make a connection. We're social beings, so it happens. I just have to be patient. Sometimes it doesn't happen for months. Fully dedicating all my efforts and my mind to my art, I really started taking myself seriously in 2013 which is when I left social work and I started going into my art. I always try to lasso my, my ideas and concepts back to the idea of what is the viewer getting from this. And so my figures will have some anguish, some sadness, but the idea is the, the hope that you need to have to be able to get you through that hardship. Whether it's human rights, whether it's domestic violence, whether it's immigration, we're all in that journey. Right now I'm currently working on a piece that has a female figure and a boat and a sail. So it's very exciting. It also is site specific she's going to be very powerful we have a combination of bronze possibly aluminum some stainless steel there's definitely going to be decorative concrete on the floor some possible brass in the concrete and so she's going to be leading leading the way that's her job with very feminine power <laughs> but power i still can't get to where i want her hands so the hands are going to have a lot to say my deepest desire is to treat others with dignity and so i, I try to go that same route with my art pieces whereas i want the viewer to feel compelled to sit with it, even if it's a difficult subject matter, but also I want the child to be able to relate to the dog, like Tawako, in, in that tender way. Every piece gets me so excited. I think I'm like a little kid all over again, because <laughs> it's like all these wonderful things are going to happen, and I get to watch it. 